On this edition of Copy, we're talking about a nightclub safety. Now that school's back in session, students are going out more, but we want to make sure that they're safe when they're when they're going out and socializing. Constable Steve Baker is here with us to give us some some tips for nightclub safety. So let's start off by talking about what things you need to be aware of when you're out and at bars and pubs. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every every September we we always have an influx of students. The population of Lethbridge grows a lot, and a lot of these students students are away from home for the first time but even that I mean even our seasoned people as well uh, we want to make sure that everyone is safe and so with uh, the Alberta Liquor and Gaming Commission uh, City of Lethbridge and, and the police service we all kind of join up together to try and drive this home and make sure that people uh, make good choices. Right? We we want everyone to go out and have fun. And yes, we know you know people are going to go out and have some drinks. And but you, but keep in mind that when you do that kind of stuff, th you're increasing your susceptibility to make poor choices, and you're increasing your susceptibility to become a target for somebody. Now. Don't walk away thinking that we're saying, "Hey, victim blaming," right? Because it's not it's not the victim's fault. But we just want everyone to be aware and make some good choices and have a plan, right? How am I going to get home? Who am I going to uh, be around today? And who am I going to go home with, right? And and make sure that those things are in place and prepared before you get yourself intoxicated and then stick to that plan so that you can you can maximize your safety and now with the tape uh, the tips rather be similar uh, for like going to house parties or other social events as opposed to you know just the bar or, or a nightclub absolutely right it, it happens it, all over the place anytime that you are outside if with a group of people or inside with a group of people it doesn't matter you're you still we still got to be safe and we still got to make sure that we have some some bounds and some safety um, guidelines in place so that we don't have to make that decision when we're intoxicated. We can make that decision now when I, I'm able to think and reason and make that and then stick to that, those decisions that you make. Right, great. That's such great advice and so simple. Just to plan ahead, take those few extra moments before you go out to plan ahead. Thank you so much, Constable Baker, for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Stay tuned for more on Go right after this.